why were these programs established? Because I think that understanding is key to understanding the yeah. You know, where while you're it, you know, while this. yes, while they're often sold as bring your child here to get them caught up. In fact, that's where they started. Was it, it was parent infant education? How to teach a right, parent? How to mm-hmm. teach their mm-hmm. kids how to talk back? You know, when I first mm-hmm. started, it was you had these early services because mm-hmm. your child had real big illnesses. They were, it was only, the only ones that got them were kids who were real premature or drug exposed or very, very ill, right? right. <clears throat> and so kids who were just developmentally delayed because of environmental things, they didn't qualify for these programs because mm-hmm. they didn't have a real medical illness. That was the parents' responsibility until some studies came out that proved that, in fact, you can train these things that kids either are doing or not mm-hmm. doing or they're uh, untrained behaviors that they are using instead of speech, oh, right? Okay. And and yeah. they're working at trying to train and program the behaviors the parents are looking for or or in fact, not necessarily the parents are looking for, but the schools are looking for, because these are pre-school training programs. They are not right. training kids to be successful at home. They are designed mm. to train kids to be successful in school because that's where the that's earlier intervention came from, right? Yes. The earlier mm-hmm. we get them in special education, the sooner we get them out of special education is the philosophy. Mm. But the thing is, It's all about having your child be successful when they're in the building. 